Do I think Dak Prescott has the ability to help the Cowboys win a Super Bowl? In the right situation, in the right team, in the right circumstances, 100%. Had a great culture and a brotherhood built here, but we want to be able to make sure that we were using that and not just patting our backs about our culture, but holding each other accountable to everything that we've built and um, understanding who we are and where we've got to go and all have the same goal. You know, man, for coming off back-to-back 12-win -back seasons and having one of the best off-seasons in the NFL, the Dallas Cowboys, once again, aren't getting the hype they deserve. At this point, though, Cowboys fans are used to it because hating on the Cowboys drives the most clicks. But if we're being completely honest with ourselves, it's easy to see that the Cowboys are legit contenders just like any other team, especially with all the new additions that they've added. I'm not joking when I say this could actually be the Cowboys year, and I guarantee every team in the NFL is going to be worried about what the Dallas Cowboys are putting together. But if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like this content so you don't miss any videos as we inch closer and closer to the NFL season. Okay, so getting back to the Dallas Cowboys, like I said earlier, this team isn't getting the praise they deserve for what they've been able to accomplish over the past two seasons and this offseason. They've been able to add exactly what caused them to fall short last season, so we should see them be even better in 2023. The Cowboys' biggest flaw in offense last year was the lack of explosiveness outside of Tony Pollard and CeeDee Lamb. The fact that Noah Brown was second in receiving out of all of our receivers should tell you all you need to know about how much explosiveness we were lacking. Michael Gallup was also not himself coming back from his injury, which hurt us big time. CeeDee Lamb obviously had the best season of his career last year, and he submitted himself as a top 10 receiver, but he still can't do everything by himself. This is why the Cowboys traded pennies to go out and get one of the most underrated receivers in football in Brandon Cooks. Cooks adds a huge burst of explosiveness to this offense, and he's going to force teams to pay attention to both sides of the field instead of just being able to worry about CD's side. Brandon Cooks has played for four different teams in his career, and no matter who was playing quarterback, he still managed to put up a thousand yard seasons with all of them. He's proven that no matter where he goes, he's going to be productive, and that's going to stay the same in Dallas. People also tend to forget that he's just 29 years old, so he still has a ton of gas left in the tank. So when talking about adding something that we desperately needed, Brandon Cooks does exactly that. Now, at receiver three, it could go one of two ways. The first is if Michael Gallup comes back playing how he did before his injury, he's our ex receiver and he'll do a great job at being that. But if he doesn't come back like he used to play, I'm extremely confident in what we have in Jalen Tolbert. He's shown what he's capable of doing in the preseason, and he's shown that he can be exactly what we drafted him to be. So if Michael Gallup doesn't come back playing like he should, expect Jalen Tolbert to fill in that spot and play just fine. The final part of the passing attack, though, that no one is talking about that I think is going to make it be even better is the tight end play. The Cowboys obviously drafted Luke Schoonmaker in the draft, but the player that I think is going to make the biggest difference is Jake Ferguson. Whether you want to believe it or not, Dalton Schultz was not that great of a tight end, and Jake Ferguson has a ton more upside than him. Jake Ferguson, when he was on the field last year, continuously made plays and showed how athletic he really is. He also showed some flashes of what he is once again this preseason, so I expect him to have a bigger season and a bigger impact than most people are giving him credit. The next part of this offense that we're going to see improve drastically is the running game simply because we got rid of Zeke and he was holding us back a lot. Tony Pollard absolutely balled out last season, not only as a rusher, but also as a pass catcher. He was able to do this while being on the field a lot less than every other starting running back in the league because Zeke was taking a lot of his snaps. I expect Tony Pollard to put up crazy numbers this season because in both starts he had last season, he upped the ceiling of our offense so much, and I know he's going to be able to repeat that success this season, especially if our offensive line can be healthy. The offensive line is a top 10 unit in the league when healthy, but health has been a big issue for the Cowboys O-line in the past couple of years. The biggest health concern on the offensive line is Tyrone Smith, but if he gets hurt, we can find a way to maneuver Tyler Smith out to tackle to make up for that loss. But if we lose one more person on top of Tyrone, it starts to get really wishy-washy. We don't have much depth, and our depth hasn't shown themselves to be too reliable. So injuries are a concern for me on the offensive line, but if they can keep it to just one injury or less, we should be able to manage just fine. But if injuries do become a problem, I'm sure the Cowboys will try to add a veteran to fill that hole because I'm not sure trusting our current depth is a smart decision. 
Overall, though, the offense is looking to be a lot more well-rounded, and I know a lot of people hate Dak Prescott, but he's going to come back and have a great season just like he does every year outside of last year. The only real question mark to me is Mike McCarthy calling the plays now, but we're just going to have to wait until Sunday night to see how that looks. The defense, on the other hand, was already third in sacks, fifth in points allowed per game, and first in turnovers, but I think it's safe to say we have the potential to be even better this season. Just like the offense, the defense added people that filled the holes that we had last season. The two biggest were drafting Mozzie Smith and trading for Stephon Gilmore. Mozzie Smith has shown some flashes in the preseason of how he's going to be able to help out, and Stephon Gilmore fills the corner two spot that we desperately needed to be filled. While the Cowboys' defense didn't have many weaknesses last year, the biggest weaknesses they had were stopping the run and our corner number two not being able to guard anyone. The addition of Mozzie and Stephon Gilmore should be able to stop both of those, and we should see the Cowboys' defense be even more dominant. Now, as far as the safety room goes, the Cowboys' safety room consists of Malik Hooker, J. Ron Kearse, and Donovan Wilson, which easily makes up one of the best safety groups in the NFL. They played phenomenal all season long last year, and there's no reason to expect that to be any different. The Cowboys also have Jordan Lewis, who's coming back from his injury, and Deron Bland, who are both great option to be in that slot corner role. So the secondary is looking to be pretty solid, but to make the secondary's life even easier, the Cowboys will also have just as good of a pass rush or an even better pass rush than they had last season. Micah Parsons is going to be fully healthy again, and Demarcus Lawrence will still be that guy we know he can be. And then we also have Sam Williams, who has came along well and looked great this preseason, and Dante Fowler, who's a great depth pass rusher. So when you look at this defensive line, it is undoubtedly one of the best in the NFL, and all that leaves me to talk about is the weakest link on this team, which is the linebacker room. Obviously, Leighton Van Der Esch is our guy there, and I like him a lot, and I also like the potential we have in Damone Clark, but outside of those two guys, it starts to get a little bit dry, especially since Demarion Overshawn went down with an ACL tear. I think they'll be able to hold up enough though, especially since Dan Quinn likes to use a safety in the box instead of three linebackers, but this is the only group that worries me a little. Overall though man, when I look at this Cowboys team on paper, they look just as good as any other contender in the NFL. The Cowboys have an elite defense that's good enough to take them to the Super Bowl, and they have a great offense that'll go hand in hand with that defense. I believe Dak Prescott is going to come out this Sunday firing on all cylinders, and Tony Pollard is going to look like one of the best running backs in the NFL. And if the Cowboys can do this, I see no reason why they can't win 12 games once again and contend for the number one seed and the division title. But I want to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comments below what you think the Dallas Cowboys are going to do this season. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.